In part one, we examine the elements of an effective search plan. Let's continue our look at search in private dwellings, focusing now on fire ground coordination, communications, and tactics and procedures. Search must be coordinated with and supported by ventilation. Just because a small department doesn't have a ladder company to devote to ventilation doesn't make the function any less important. Roof ventilation is not usually necessary for fires confined to the first floor of a two or two and a half story private dwelling. Fires that are not directly below the roof will not benefit enough from such ventilation to justify it. For fires in private dwellings, horizontal ventilation is usually sufficient. Even if the fire is on the top floor or in the attic area, many departments do not have the resources to get a company to the roof to perform timely vertical ventilation anyway. That is, simultaneous with fire attack and before fire has dangerously weakened the roof structure. Most single-family homes can be ventilated effectively through horizontal means, the window and door openings. This doesn't require a large commitment of personnel. One firefighter with a pike pole breaking windows from outside the structure can greatly improve conditions for the firefighters and occupants inside the structure. Ventilation at residential fires is performed for two important reasons to facilitate fire attack, and to expedite search and rescue. Venting for fire attack is necessary to advance and operate a hand line where it will be most effective, inside a structure where the stream can be applied to the fire directly on burning fuels at close range to stop the production of heat and fire gases. A properly positioned hand line saves lives by confining a fire to its area of origin, protecting trapped occupants and the firefighters searching for them, and keeping fire from blocking vital exit pathways. But this is often not possible without adequate ventilation. Fire, smoke, and expanding steam will take the path of least resistance. Provide an opening and they will escape harmlessly to the outside. When no ventilation is provided, smoke and heat will bank down to the floor. Hot, expanding steam can flow in one direction only, right back at the handline crew, scalding them, ruining visibility, and slowing their advance. 